Hello and thank you for joining us. In this module, we will explore one of the tools in the investor's kit bag to mitigate against the impact of inflation, inflation-linked bonds. Inflation-linked bonds help against the inflation risk because they link the principal of the bond to the price index, which actually reflects the rate of inflation. So, if inflation is 2% on an annual basis, that means that the principal of the bond is going to increase by 2% every year until the bond matures. This process is known as the inflation indexation. So, how does this work in practice? Let's say the example of the US. Since 2000, inflation in the US has been 73% in cumulative terms. If we had bought an inflation bond in 2000 and hold it until today, the principal would have increased to 173. To give you a comparison, for a nominal bond of the same characteristics, the principal would have been today of only 100. This is how inflation bonds help to protect the real value of investments. Along with the indexation of the principal, the coupons are also concerned by inflation indexation. As a coupon is calculated with the percentage of the principal value, given that the principal increases over time, the coupon payment also increases. On top of this inflation indexation, which is guaranteed by the issuer, investors are also provided with a real yield. Real yields represent the premium that investors lock in on top of realized inflation. Then, if we sum up the real yield and the inflation indexation, we're going to obtain an equivalent of what we call the running yield. This is a yield that we can compare to nominal bonds. We call this estimation the income of the inflation in bonds. Of course, the inflation we're going to be indexed to in the future is not known yet. So in order to make this calculation, we will need to use an inflation forecast. It is worth mentioning that in most cases, inflation is published on a monthly basis. So this means that the income of an inflation in bonds is not exactly a straight line. It changes month by month. This also means that higher inflation will translate into higher income for inflation in bonds. I hope that this module has given you a good overview of how inflation in bonds work and the different metrics we use to calculate their value. Do not hesitate to look at the other videos where we explain more about duration and how it impacts inflation in bonds.